not. So I want a job. Just installing. So I've installed a ducted aircon in this place. So, so none of these things on the roof are anything to do with me. That one I've installed previously. So that's my install there. The one right there, it's mine for a tendency there. Um, yep, so that's mine. Done that in the past. And I'm installing another duct in here today. So I'm going to film the me putting a condenser on the wall. So let's do it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is put a hole up there. My multi tool. Gonna feed the pipes in to my offsider who's in there at the moment. He's ready to flare out the indoor unit and whatnot. So he's just in there doing duck work. So um, yeah, for now I'm just gonna put a hole in, feed some pipe in. That's number one. Job number one. Basically the same as this. Trunking going down to a unit that sits nice and neatly on the wall. So I think the electrician used the same thing. So for all you Americans out here, oh, it's for all you Americans watching this video, I should say, this is Coogee, it's a beach down there, it's like the main strip. Um, yeah, Coogee Beach, that's an awesome beach, this is actually where I lived in most of the videos, but I've moved, I don't live here anymore. But, um, I actually lived in an apartment literally on the beach, which is awesome. But it's so hard to get a park here, so um, don't live here anymore. But yeah, it's a nice little area. It's a bit of trivia for you. Alright, I'm gonna roll this pipe out, put it in. So on domestics, I just use pair coil because that's what everyone else uses. I would love to use the fire rated stuff, the black inso, because it's better, but no one else does, and that means everyone else's quotes are cheaper. So, my opinion on this stuff it's alright for using in domestic, however, you can't have any of it exposed to UV because this stuff just it. Um, just disintegrates in the sun very quickly so I'm actually getting into a habit of um like I use it just because everyone else does I'm happy to use the more expensive stuff the fire rated stuff but like I said no one else is so basically it's like industry standard just to use this just to be able to compete however I know now I've got into a bit of a habit of um basically when it comes out the bottom of the trunking um, I just like cut the inso and before I flare it, put some fire rated stuff on. So that little bit of pipe that comes out of the trunking to the flare nuts is actually the, the little bit that's going, going to be exposed to sun. I um, put UV rated stuff on. So that's what I've been doing lately. I'm just trying to get better. I'm not the perfect installer by any means. Just trying to get better each time. So 
Yeah, right, let's get this in the roof. I just wanted to tell you that because before I get roasted for using this. Look, I I froth on doing hard drawn pipe and I'll do hard drawn pipe, honestly, for domestic installs, but it just takes longer and people just undercut you all the time by getting cheaper quotes and they're just installing rubbish. So I'm trying to do quality installs out here and um, with the price of copper at the moment, every little bit sort of helps. So using this stuff, but in UV, like if it's gonna be exposed to UV, this stuff is rubbish. You gotta use the fire rated stuff, in my opinion. Wait a sec. one over here the switchboard is at the front of the house and the electrician ran a circuit over down and to there that's why it's at that level this one same deal across the roof down and you put an isolator next to it for us um, same with over there the reason why I brought the trunking down more is because I don't know what's going on with this one but the electrician was saying that um this one, the switchboard is actually underneath in a cafe. I have no idea. It's not my, it's not my thing. So 
he's using one of those circuits. So I've just brought it down so like it's going to be a bit lower so you can try and make that look nice and neat. I don't know what's going on. I wanted it as a 20 amp designated circuit. I don't know if they can do that. I have no idea what's going on. But 100% when I walked up here that thing that J box just there it didn't even have a cap on it. It was just out in the weather. Like absolute red hot. But anyway this is a um the max current of 17.3 amps and it should have 20 amp single phase uh, circuit. So I noticed that there's this is a 7 kilowatt, it's R32 and these ones are the R410s. A little, a little bit different. But anyway, that's why I brought that down a bit lower. Otherwise, I would have done it the same height, but I'm just trying to make it easier for this this dude. Anyway. this see that that comes with it never trust that this is the real one on, on. beautiful just got to tighten these like I said I normally Normally cut that off there, but I'm trying to help out the sparky. So all good.
don't even know why they give them to you because they're designed for concrete, not bricks. So I ended up doing it the same height. The bottom of the brackets is the exact same height as the bottom of those brackets. It follows the same brick line. It's just that they're both seven kilowatt ducted. That's a 410, that's a 32. For whatever reason, these are tiny, but they're 100% the same height, like the bottom. Just um, basically, it's hard to explain, but there's actually cabinetry inside here. So where that cable comes out, that white one, but that's the power cable that the electricians just drilled out. I'm so annoyed because what the reason why I brought the trunking down is so he can just come out at that same level because the cabinetry inside means that's the only like level that it can come out not only height it can come out, it can't go any higher and it um, it can only go lower, it can't go any higher so because then you'll be out of the cabinet which is just like a bench there so I'm like, the reason why I ran that trunking down is so he can bring the electrical out into my trunking and then just come up and out and he just didn't take into consideration what I said and just drilled a hole out there which is like frustrating so I'm going to cover that hole with an isolator because the electrician doesn't have an isolator so I'm just, I'm just going to take it take over from here anyway um so same level as that um trunking comes down I've used the benders so basically it's like the perfect thing across so I'm going to cut that flare that um, what I said before was I was going to cut the insulation and use the black fire rated stuff because I think it works better in like with the UV so there's only going to be like from there to there that is exposed um, however I've just had a look around and like all these for example all just falling apart like obviously that's after a few years but unit's going to be here for a long time so some people put tape over it um, some people have put like waterproofing over it but um yeah basically I'm just going to change my mind I'm just going to keep this insulation 
I'm actually going to paint it. I'm going to see, see how that goes. I'm just going to paint it black with like a UV resistant paint. Um, because putting black insulation there doesn't actually do anything. So that's the plan. Um, basically, I'm like just over competing with like just not very good installs. I'm trying to change the way I do things. Like for example, I'm trying to use like book a rod and uni strut to hang the indoor units and stuff. I'm just over competing with you know shitty installs. So basically, that's why I'm trying to like just trying to get better. Um, like I said, I'm not I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm just trying to put some effort in. Um, and yeah, that's why I did that little extra bit there, so you could just come out, go up. Obviously, that was a bit of a waste, but anyway, it's there now. Just gonna flare it up, connect it up, and back it. And I'll just bring the my cables out here and conduit. But yeah. Anyway, that's. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to improve every little area. And I've just, I've gone to a few jobs that I've installed in the past where I found out that everything's good, but things like that start to perish. And also things I've noticed is the bolts that they give you end up just rusting. Another thing that I want to try and like maybe go buy some galvanized bolts and just not use the ones that they give you. But anyway, getting better, a little bit better each and every time I do one of these. So let's get this thing flared up. keep it in my fridge in the van so literally for an extra like you know five minutes work you won't have that happening but anyway for now um that's on back i'm gonna go have lunch come back just sort out that and that and that's the outside done this is a, like, a job that i gotta come back to next week to put outlets in whatever but um That'll be done.
Alright, so outside all done. So yeah, basically, like I said already, but just to re-elaborate. Inside this cabinetry, power had to come out inside the cabinet, so it was being below a certain level. Um, so that's why I brought the trunking down all the way. So he could just come out in the trunking, come straight up, you know, and you know, just pop out a nice ladder, like just to help me out. Uh, for whatever reason, he just came out in that random spot, whatever. Um, and then I just took over and put an isolator there. Um, yeah, so basically, the pipes come down, elbows straight in. I'm going to come back and sort that out because I've got to come back to this job. I can't finish it today. But yeah, so normally I would have just cut, stop the trunking there and just have it come out there because I reckon that looks epic. But um, yeah, in this case, I'll just done it like that. Yeah. That's what R32 7 kilowatts look like. Basically, like, I can just try your best and don't take shortcuts. So, I was just sitting here trying to think how you can make it better for next time. That would look cool in like hard drawn elbow, hard drawn elbow, but the problem is like if you do that it sits off the wall like because the hole isn't right at the back, so it's just like off the wall and if you put saddles in, I don't know, I feel like the best way you could do that is just do what it was done, Coro, and then that bit just leave hard drawn. So, hard drawn elbow, hard drawn, and then a little bit of coro for that section. That'll look better. Anyway, next time I'll go better. But she's good for now. I'm back in my bag, yo. Conscious. Iso. Dumb. Back in my bag and I ain't gotta brag, I do this shit for real When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel Shorty 